Hi everybody, so one of the questions I get asked is what would be the use case for something like the Nepo G Mini Stick um, Tiny uh, Computer that I've got here. You may well have seen my uh, first impressions uh, look at this, this basically this tiny, 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 tiny Windows 10 PC. You know, why would you buy one? Um, well, for me, the use case is um, streaming um, games and using game streaming services because I've got an old laptop um, which is fine for doing basic um, web stuff basic video processing um, but what what it's got it's got a very basic screen on it and it cannot run my big gaming monitor so this is a 27 inch 1440p 120 frames a second gaming monitor that I used my Xbox Series S and if I plug a HDMI lead in from this to that, this cannot run that display at those um, at, at those uh, resolutions. I am a big user of um, cloud streaming services when it comes to kind of kind of gaming. So uh, can I come out of here? Um, so what you're seeing here, all right? There we go. We're out of it. So what I use an awful lot is if i click on this window here so this what you what you're seeing here this is my shadow cloud gaming pc so this is a my pc in the cloud somewhere that is nice and powerful that i can play high-end pc games on so um the latest games i can play this now i tend to be concentrating mainly on PUBG, daisy armor so you could say then they're, they're not the latest ones but it's powerful enough to do that when you know my laptop just cannot get anywhere near close also this allows me to having the shadow cloud shadow cloud shadow gaming pc i can run daisy local servers so i can do a lot of content creation of testing mods and creating things and i can do that and the beauty is that this little nepo g can run this display at 1440p 60 frames a second so we get this lovely beautiful big display to use which is fantastic um, you really really get the feeling for that so that's shadow cloud gaming pc and what i was showing you before see if i can click on it was this is the xbox um, game pass ultimate um, streaming uh, service so what you can do is if you're a member of game pass ultimate you can um, install the app on your pc and you can stream um xbox console games to your pc and it works very well work very well this is uh this is uh shadow uh sorry this is halo infinite the, the 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 beginning of the campaign when you when you kind of get outside it and it looks really nice now it doesn't look as fantastic as when i'm when i'm playing this directly from my xbox series s because obviously there's some compression going on it's streaming it but it feels very very responsive and it gives me this beautiful um screen to play on you know i can plug in my xbox controller into the nepo g via usb um i mean i have got a mouse and keyboard plugged in as well and i can have that really nice big screen experience that i don't get if i do the same thing on my um, laptop because you know the screen's too small but this this is nice now and the other things you can sort of the, the other associated services that would be good with that as well are things like GeForce Now. Now, I'm not going to bother firing up GeForce Now because I haven't got the paid version, so I'd get in a queue, but things like GeForce Now and probably Stadia as well from Google. Now, I haven't had a chance to play those yet, uh, to test Stadia with it, but I've tested GeForce Now and, and it seems great. So that is the use case for me for something like one of these one of these mini PCs. I mean you can obviously use it to stream Netflix and you know surf the web and and do all those do all those things but for me really the use case for something like a mini PC is so that I can run and play the game streaming services like GeForce Now like Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Cloud Streaming like uh, Shadow Cloud uh, Streaming um, onto a large, beautiful 27-inch 1440p, 60 frames a second. Well, it can go up to 120 frames a second, but I don't think my, my internet connection will be able to support that. Onto there, and that's what this little this little beauty does very, very well. Um, now you can't play games on this thing. You know, if you install Daisy to it or PUBG to it, it isn't going to be able to do it because the the onboard graphics just aren't powerful enough to do do that sort of thing. But it's more than powerful enough. To be able to do that sort of thing so if you're kind of in a similar situation where maybe you've got a console 
um, and you've got something like a, a, a nice gaming monitor and you want to be able to play PC games uh, via streaming services like GeForce Now or Shadow Cloud or something like that, then that could well be a use case scenario for, for one of these babies. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully that's usual. If it has been, hit like. Um, and of course, I'll see you again soon.